How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Play Arts Kai review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of my holy or my holy grail, I guess you could say, that I was finally able to get last year. This is the Cyborg Ninja variant uh, red version that came out in 2012. I, I believe it was 2012. It was a con exclusive, limited to 500 pieces and um, it came with a really significant accessory piece, which I'll showcase here a little bit later. But this figure um, is exactly like the original release um, as far as articulation, as far as the tampos and overall look. It's just redecoed into the, um, the color scheme where if you've played Metal Gear Solid and you've beaten the game and you go back to replay it, the ninja uh, color scheme changes to this. And hopefully, um, the camera's picking up on it. It's a very nice metallic um, paint and everything else. So, uh, but yeah, very nice. Uh, let's go over articulation really quickly. Unfortunately, this is the older body style, I guess, or mechanics, engineering, whatever you want to call it. It does not have the ratcheted joints in the hips. I've already reviewed the other Cyborg Ninjas, so I'm not going to go too much into it. Um, but it does have a double ball peg for the head connected to the neck, so you do have a nice range of motion. Can't really go up too far because it hits the back of the head, hits the neck here. The neck is one solid piece, so you don't have that typical neck piece that's connected to a ball joint to the actual, or not a double ball peg to the actual chest. The arms have quite a bit of motion. Uh, you can it does have a swinging joint. It's not like a true kind of a butterfly, I guess. Um, you can rotate around 306 degrees, you know, all that. No ratchets, unfortunately. Um, in and out. Does have a um, a bicep swivel at the top of the bicep and at the middle of the bicep, which is kind of odd. But you do have that. It does have what we're accustomed to in the elbows, wrist, and ankles where it's the uh, ratcheted ball hinge where it can swivel at the top and at the base. And you get the nice you know, ratchet there. So I'm not going to focus too much on that. As far as the torso, it's on a ball peg. So you got a nice ab crunch, side to side motion. Ball peg to a T-joint on the waist with a floating crotch piece. So you can get some nice poses. Unfortunately, you do see his innards. He goes right through, but depending on how you have them posed, um, it should be all right. No thigh cut, double hinge knee, and they're not that bad because of the kneecap here for the armor. And as far as the uh, ankle, you just have one click, not a lot of movement. This is a hard plastic, so you're not going to get a lot, but you can manipulate it to get a little bit of an ankle rocker, but then you're hindered by this piece right here. So can't really do a lot. And then you got the oh so fun toe swivel. Not a toe hinge, toe swivel. So if you can manipulate this, maybe you might be able to make it work, but it's just, it's just ugly. I mean, look at that. What, what are you gonna do with that? It's kind of dumb. But you can get him into some nice poses. He did not come with a stand. Um, the original or the first couple waves of the Metal Gear Solid figures did not come with wave, or Play Arts Kai stands. I think it was Liquid, maybe Raiden from uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 that started showing up with them um, stands, but you do have the nice tampos all over the place. I'll try and zoom in here so you can hopefully see them. Again, um, as a Tokugawa, I mentioned in the um, the other review of the Cyborg, this is a good indicator if you have a knockoff. It will have a C instead of a, um, I think a G. Uh, and all that type of stuff. And then obviously if you got it with the box, check the serial number and all that type of stuff. My box is buried, so I didn't get to it. Um, and then you got all the nice tampos all over the place. So you got some really nice detail. All right, let's look at the accessories and what makes this thing um, so good in my eyes. So let's just lean him up there so he doesn't fall. I think he's probably gonna fall, so stay. All right. It does come with the fox blade. It's your generic looking uh, katana, but got a little bit of detail, some paint on the hilt, 
and on the handle, a little bit of a two-tone for the blade itself, and fairly decent size. So there we go. And he does come with his arm cannon, which again has the nice detail as far as the writing on the sides and such. And it is legible, which is really cool. It's cast in one paint or in one, you know, color, except you got that one little red dot. If my camera will focus in on right there. And that's it. To put the cannon on his arm, you can put it on either arm, but all you do is just disconnect his forearm, plug it in. It does wrap around his elbow pad really nicely, and there you have the arm cannon. So. And then he does come with a left and right kind of just relaxed open hand, which again does have some nice detail. Hope we can make that out. And then he does come with a gripping hand for the sword. All right, so that's all the, the accessory pieces that was the same with the original release, but with this guy, you also get Gray Fox's head um, or an opened helmeted version. So you can see Gray Fox and this is the reason why I bought it. Um, I do like the color scheme. It's nice, but it's because of this head. If you've played the game at the very, towards the end where you're starting to take on uh, Metal Gear Rex, the cyborg ninja shows up, reveals himself, he's Gray Fox, all this type of stuff. You get to see him finally open up his um, helmet so you can see his face. Um, Frank Yeager, I believe. And um, it's very cool. And I get the fact that this is a five, you know, it's limited to 500, blah, blah, blah. But keep putting this as an accessory for that. One, it doesn't match color scheme. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious. It looks kind of dumb. Um, it just, it, it does really suck if you ended up getting this guy, because this guy's not cheap either. And then if you want that helmet, I mean, that head, you have to go and find this guy, which is extremely expensive. So it's kind of a, a fail in a way. I, I, I understand the exclusivity of it, but still, um, it works only for this. So it makes you feel like you had to buy both if you can all that, but all right, move him out of the way, but you can see them next to each other as far as scale. And this is the uh, kind of the newer scale. So it will fit in with like the Marvel variants, uh, DC variants and all that type of stuff. It was in that transitional phase where they went to a larger scale. And here he is next to Solid Snake. So, all right. Okay, so that is it. Just a quick look at the red version of the Cyborg Ninja from Metal Gear Solid. This is from the um, 2012 uh, Metal Gear Play Arts Kai um, series. Um, nice figure. I don't recommend it unless you are a true Metal Gear. I'm not true. I don't want to say that. I wouldn't recommend it unless you are willing to, sp you want this look and you already have the Cyborg Ninja, the regular release, and you wanted to get him with this this head. Um, he's expensive. Again, limited to 500. So, yeah, you gotta be really like a, in just a diehard, I guess, if you really want this. Um, it's cool, but again, um, yeah. As far as knockoffs, I've never seen this knocked off. I know Solid Snake was. I'm not quite sure, and the and the ninja was, but not this color scheme, which um, it's kind of odd too that they didn't do that. But that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care. I haven't said that for a while. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, you know, watch Plastic Fanatics 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. All that type of stuff. So thank you again. Do appreciate the support. And I will talk to everyone later.